What up, internet? Hey there, camera. Welcome to some video. Welcome to our living room. But today we're going to be um, talking about Ireland and not our living room. Truth. First off, we want to talk about the first time we went to Ireland. There's not much to say, really, except for that we were supposed to spend uh, about 26 to 28 hours there, and it was cut down to about four or five hours. So we didn't really get to see very much at all of Ireland, or of Dublin, I should say, the first Try time we best. went. But there's some bumbling hours in the middle of the night and darkness where we try to see some some things and uh Yeah, and well, guess what? We made it to Ireland. Yeah. We're not in Toronto. Twenty four hours after you're supposed to, so we only have uh, roughly two hours to for the city center. And it's about uh about about ten to six. We can show you some of those clips, but there wasn't a lot. We saw Trinity College, I think. We wandered around and wished we could go inside and drink beer at a lot of places. Um, we were supposed to fly with Wow Airlines, and at the last second they canceled our flight. Then we booked a flight with, uh, I think it was Aer Lingus, and flew into Dublin. But then we were there for like, yeah, very, very early in the morning. It was really cold too. And we took the bus that takes you into the city center, walked around for a couple of hours before getting a hot beverage, chugging it, and then jumping back on the bus to head to the airport again. It felt pretty good to be able to go back to Ireland. To get proper like... Is it a year later? Welcome to Dublin. What up, internet? I guess the first time we were there was in 2017. Yeah, it was 2018. So it was like a year later. We finally were able to properly explore Dublin for a couple of days. What were your favorite things we saw in Dublin? I really enjoyed seeing the historic beer. <laughs> we did find, um, it wasn't a plastic stool, but we found a place with little wooden stools and it was like, I don't know what you call it, like a beer collective type place, sort of. It was a place where it had a bunch of local breweries on tap with like weird experimentally sounding beers. On the chalkboard. Yeah. And we sat outside on little wooden and metal stools. What up, Elthia? It's just a pale ale? It's just a PA. Elthia PA. Um, even though it was pretty cold out. And we enjoyed beer, which warmed us up. Mm -hmm. That place was amazing. We went back twice. The architecture was great as well. The mm -hmm. Old churches and such. The old castle was really cool. Um, we had to go on a tour to see the castle, because that's the only way you can see like the old Viking. Um, Ruins underneath. Take you underground. It was pretty neat to see that. I think it was worth the tour just to see that. The rest oh, of it sure. was sort of boring, but uh, it was worth it to be able to see the old Viking ruins. I think, because if you don't know much about the history of Dublin, um, it's got Vikings in it. Mostly, we just saw a lot of beer. Yeah, you're right. Uh, we saw a lot of cathedrals. parks. We like just to wander around and kind of check out the tiny streets and alleyways and stop off and get beer. Okay, there's a theme going on here. So did you know that the number one thing to do while you're in Dublin is sit on a stool and drink some beer? It's true. It's true. Was it castles and also beer? That was the theme of our, uh, of our series was castles and beer. We what upped a lot of beers. What a black IPA. Also, we went and saw the, what's the, the bridge called? We, I don't know. We had seen it before when we were there for the overnight couple hour stopover, but we went back and saw the Haypenny Bridge, is that what it's called? Oh yeah, that's right. And we wandered up and down the yeah. Temple Bar Street and the pub streets there. And uh, I don't think we actually went into any of them, but on our last night there, we went to a giant brewery and tried a bunch of different brews while watching a soccer match or a football match between I think it was Wales, wasn't it? Wales and Ireland or something like that. It was pretty interesting to be part of that sort of um, football pub scene thing that we don't have here in Canada at all. Our European uh, viewers just uh, cringing when they hear the word soccer. <laughs> Sorry, we wanted to go to an old jail but we didn't get to do that. We wanted to go to the whiskey distillery but it was too late by the time we booked this trip to even book the tour at the Jameson Distillery. It was too late to book a Guinness tour, so we didn't go drink Guinness at the Guinness um, Brewery. But we did drink a lot of Guinness outside the brewery. Yeah. 
So that was very much a meditated choice, though. As much as we like beer and Guinness, we thought you could have a Guinness anywhere. Yeah, but also it was a very last minute sort of trip. Um, and we were there very briefly as well. Yeah, exactly. Also, you got to try the first like full English breakfast there. We landed in Dublin and like the first thing we did before we checked into our hostel was went to a little like cafe and had full English breakfast or full, I had the full Irish breakfast, which came with a mashed, or not a mashed potato, a um, baked potato. Mostly it's like what we do normally and just wandering around on foot. Yeah, take in the sights. Mm -hmm. Look at that cool architecture. Look at that cool natural growth. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of street art too. Not as much as Belfast, which we'll talk about in the next episode of, um, you know, reminiscing, reminiscing what we love corner. places. Yeah, from from Dublin we took a bus up to Belfast. Uh, so let us know. Is there anything about Dublin that uh, we missed that we should have seen? It's pretty cool, but uh, it leaves me wanting a little more. We definitely need to go and see outside of Dublin in Ireland because it looks like there's way more interesting things outside of the um, metropolis. Metropolis is a very small city. The most important coffee of the day. Every coffee is the most important coffee of the day. Exactly. Yeah, we did the road most traveled. Mm -hmm. But I'd like to see some other major cities in small little cities and towns. Maybe even doing a little bit of a driving tour would be cool. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> Take a look, camera, and we'll see you next time in Northern Ireland. Yeah. Right. Bumbling Tourist signing off. Take luck. Catch you on the flippity flop. Peace out, <laughs> suckers. What up, Dublin Castle? What up, Full Sail IPA? So long, Cheers to the camera. Cheers to the camera.